Hey, Pete Stege here from B2B Clarity. Start with why. If you haven't seen Simon Sinek's video, TED Talk, pause this, go watch it, and then come back. Start with why is, is one of the best, most succinct summaries of how marketing works and the power of, of vision and mission in, in business. Um, and it it's the beginning of how I help work with clients in, in, in pretty much every case. I talk about their true story. That's kind of my version of this concept. It's the idea that you really have to know what you do that is so valuable, who you do it for, and what is it that they get from you doing that thing. You got to have that before you do things in marketing. And so many businesses start with doing stuff because it's easy, it's it's tempting, it's uh, satisfying in some ways, but you end up with a lot of disconnected uh, activity. So I wanna suggest what you do to get from your why to a functioning, effective, impactful marketing program. So after you know that purpose, that product market fit, the next thing I recommend is that you look at your prospects journey, their experience journey. What would you want to happen to your ideal prospect from before they even know who you exist to they are a champion customer and love you and tell everybody about you. That journey has many steps and the, the first thing you wanna do is document that. What do we believe that looks like? You may not know for sure, write it down, figure out exactly what is the experience they have, where they have it, how long it takes for them to have it, and what's their behavior when they have it, all the way along that path. Then go back and go through that same journey again with reality instead of what you want to happen. And what you'll find is the gaps. You'll see where they're getting stuck, where they're not getting the experience that they need, uh, where they might even be going around uh, part of the path or off to somebody else's uh, option, right? So this process is so important because it gives you an understanding of where the biggest um, roadblocks are in your business being effective. Now that you know that, it's time to think about what can marketing do to help us with these problems in our customer experience? Because that, that customer journey is the path to revenue, to path to growth for you. If your clients, your prospects follow that path, you will succeed in your, in your vision, right? What can marketing do? Because marketing isn't a cure-all, it's not a silver bullet, and you can't magically make it work for you, right? You have limitations in budget, in experience, in maybe their, uh, their ability to be open to um, hearing from you. There's all kinds of things, both in your company and outside, that limit what marketing can do for your business. So you wanna take a realistic look and say, where we're at today, what's the things that we can ask marketing to do to help us achieve that customer journey, that ideal customer journey? And once you've done that, then it's time to get to work. Now you take those actions and those steps. But I encourage you to do less. One of the most common mistakes I see is that businesses try to do too much too soon. And what happens is they don't give the things they do the attention that, it, that it is needed for them to succeed or for them to know if they're not going to succeed. So choose maybe two or three programs, tactics, campaigns, events that fit and solve problems that you've identified, your top problems on that customer journey, and do those. Do them really well, focus on them, see if they work, and if they do, do more. See if they don't work, either change them or stop doing them. And that closed loop measurement of your focus tactics is what moves you forward. And then you, as you grow, you 
invest more in the thing that's worked. You add things that you haven't tried yet and you solve other problems on your journey. So start with why, absolutely. And then thoughtfully move to the actions and the steps you're gonna take with your investment of time and money.